CEO of the Uganda Matters, Andrew Kagwa, Ponsia Nongondwe, and Dennis Sebugwao were killed at Munyonyo in 1886 on the orders of Mwanga, the then king of Buganda. When Pope Francis visited Uganda in November 2015, he laid the foundation stone for the construction of a church at the site as a monument to the three young men who died for their faith. Today, the church was officially opened by Italian Cardinal Fernando Filoni. The cardinal, who also led the celebration of Mass, emphasized the importance of the gospel in the family life. In the family, so that the family mother, father and the children may truly be a domestic church where the gospel is lived and proclaimed. Cardinal Filoni turned to the public servants who he reminded to practice what religious leaders preach. In civil activities, so that economies may be truly people-centered and not only for making profit. In public life, in its many expressions, so that the justice and the non-violence inspired by the gospel may build up our societies beginning with its public institutions. Participants in the construction of the shrine say that the church is a new dedication to the three Uganda martyrs who left their mark on Munyonyo. It is a living monument, monument constructing thanksgiving to God for the 50th anniversary of the canonization of Uganda martyrs and golden jubilee of Kampala Diocese. So since we have reached together to this point, I think there is also a future for us since we've been doing it together. When I asked them to come, I didn't know they would accept. There was nothing here, really. And they first rented a small house, not far from here. So they would live there and also work there. The ceremony was part of the celebrations to mark the jubilee of the canonization of the Uganda matters and also 50 years since the establishment of Kampala Diocese. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. Forever and ever, hallelujah.